I'm home from the survivors of the last world war are reconstructing an incredible story from their time in combat. They were flown behind enemy lines in flimsy gliders, towed behind aircraft, and then cut free. Many didn't survive. Some of those who did spoke to Mark Goff for tonight's Eye on the Midlands. Sixty years ago, this used to look like one of these, an RAF glider, a silent invader, flying Allied troops behind enemy lines to Nazi Germany. These were those troops, they're in their 70s now, but during World War II they were as young as 19 and were flown into occupied Europe. 30 troops crammed into a plywood shell. Engineless, it could land in silence, dropping the troops exactly where they were needed. This is one of those gliders and it's being rebuilt at RAF Shawbury in Shropshire by the men who flew in them. Godfrey Yardley, now 78, showed me where he sat when he flew across the Rhine. This is my seat where I could look straight through the door at the, at the angle and through the cockpit windows. Uh, as we were going down we were getting shot with different calibers of um, artillery fire and one thing or another. And there was a, a, a man sat opposite me, me who got a burst of machine gun fire through his back. And that burst went between my head and the head of the next man to me. If you remember, we were shoulder to shoulder, so the distance was probably that, that much. The gliders were called horses, named after an Anglo-Saxon invader. 3,000 were built, many at what is now the rover plant at Longbridge in Birmingham. They were flimsy, many disintegrated on landing, but they were only ever designed to be used once. Without an engine, they couldn't take off again. It's thought the wreckage of many was scattered over what was once occupied Europe, some being used as makeshift chicken coops even today. But what a part they played in history. <laughs> we did our bit yeah. for Hank and Warbers, but uh, I think the, the biggest hero, the bravest man we left behind. This will be back in its full glory by spring next year. It'll never fly, but its place in history is assured. Marked off Central News. <laughs> and mention of spring, and what a wonderful day it's been.